My last grandparent is sick and probably will leave this earth soon. Her death has triggered an immense fear of death in me. I'm only 30, but I fear I'll run out of time. I'm scared of everything ending, of everything being just this. My good friend, fear of death lives with us all. It defines the human condition. We are all running out of time. Your life will end whether you fear it or not. It is inevitable. So there is only one choice. You can spend your life... You can spend the rest of your life on Earth. You can spend the rest of your time on Earth scared of how it will end or you can spend your time building up to a hell of an ending your fate is in your hands your legacy will live on make the best of it that's good enough to send go for it Thank you for taking the time to think about a stranger. I'll rush this right over. Let's do another one. Do you believe that good will eventually triumph over evil? Or is life just chaotic and miserable in reality? Are we bound to suffer eternally? My good friend, these questions have no answer. These questions are too big to have an answer. It's only by reducing their scope that you can and find meaning in them. You must strive for your good, for your good actions to triumph over the evil you could inflict, inflict upon those around you. you must strive for your good actions to triumph over the evil you could inflict upon those around you. The fight is yours. The fight is yours to win. Life is chaotic. But it's up to you to make it less miserable. That fight is yours to win. And one day we will die. And that day, and that day, suffering will end. One day we will die, and that day, suffering will end. Yeah, that's good. That's good enough. Send it. I can do one more. Now look at this one. I have no clue what I did with my day. I cooked for a bit and cleaned and tidied, but that didn't take more than four hours altogether. I did homework for an hour and then all of a sudden it was 10 p.m. I got very little work done. Where the heck did my time go? Boy, can I relate to this sentiment. We are responding to this one right now. Let's see. My good friend. Well, I'll, I'll say the same thing. Never have I found a note I could relate to. Re I, never have I found a note to which I could relate more. There you go. Time seems to slip away. Every day. Hmm. And when I look back. I don't know where half of it went. 
I have no real solution for ya. I'm in the same boat, really. Um, the advice I can come up with, I could give myself, and it won't be very effective. I tried. <laughs> I've tried so much stuff, but I always revert to the same nonsense. Thing is, I do feel better when I shift focus. Instead of... Instead of making... Instead of trying to hold on to every hour... Just set a goal for the day and then accomplish it. Set a goal for the day and accomplish it. That will make the day, uh, what to say this, like it will make the day count. Mm. At least that way, the day will count. Toward the future, eh. Just, just the day will count, the day will count is a pretty good sentence. Hmm. At least that way, the day will count as a good one. I like that. There you go. Got a spell check, gotta make sure everything's correct. I hope that no mistakes come through. It's very annoying. Affecting, I don't even know if I'm using affecting change here properly, but uh, I'm gonna use it. It sounds fancy. That's good enough. Send it! Oh, one more in me. Let's see. Sufferers of chronic pain. How do you cope with, cope with it? This also hits home. I mean, I don't have like the biggest issues with chronic pain. I would say it's pretty mild if you compare it to the generality of human experience, but I do cope with chronic pain every day doing exercises. My back is a constant bother, fairly mild, but I think I can speak to this. Let's see. Uh, uh, my good friend. I have a chronic back pain. It only gets worse every year. I cope with daily exercises, pills when it gets bad, and most of all, hmm, focusing on what to say it. Focusing on what I want to accomplish for myself, myself. Like finishing, finish all the novels in my mind, my head, finish all the novels in my head and make videos, make the videos uh, that I want to make, of which I have way too many. <laughs> the, the worst is the knowledge that it will get worse over time and one day I won't even be able to walk. Is that too much? Well, I, I mean, I might not lose my ability to walk, but you know, I probably, let's just say probably, I probably won't be able to walk. And, you know, this does weigh on my conscience. It's something that it is, it is motivation to enjoy life mm, for... It's motivation to enjoy life in every way as long as I can. It's good enough. All right, that's enough kind words for the day. But you know what? I am no longer just stuck inside this cabin. I can actually go outside. Ah! 
Wait, don't open the door yet. A small family of people starts falling asleep. I call a friend to carry them home. I am Frogu. All right. It's a great development. We are now friends and neighbors. Just that easy. I have carried the sleepy people's home and given them some milk. Me, I have I run the vintage shop at the very street. You must visit. I have a gift. Gift. All right. Well, I guess we'll go outside and visit this weirdo frog. A, a little weird to be in a cabin in the woods and then suddenly I am outside an apartment complex but I'll I'll go with the flow first of all this green hair needs to go show me a way to get rid of this awful awful green hair maybe if I go to the bus stop I can travel to a hairstylist because it is atrocious turns out though that I need some kind of pass to go into the damn bus excuse me excuse me miss do you know how to get to a hairstylist? This horrible hairdo is pissing me off. Well, turns out that you can't have a conversation. So I start as many conversations as one. Oh, since your door's other place may be able to overhear your conversation. And you can just say, hi, how, how are you? I'm not interested in how you are. I want to get to a freaking hairstylist. Hmm, maybe this sh fashion shop. Oh, this is perfect. Ah, at last, let me get some customization done. This appearance is not a look like a, a woke grandmother. I'm going to pass on this look. This is 2016 look. Very passe, very much not in fashion anymore. Let me come up with something much better. There you go, hipster red face with a hoodie. I am done with this. I like it. Hair about as long as I have it right now, so it works out. Let's go into the bookshop, see what they have to offer. There's a frog. You grace my shop with heart, gr my heart grows. I have a gift. Browse my shop for a minute while I find it. You idiot, you misplaced my delicious gift. You should be ashamed of yourself. Oh, I see, you can... It's like a shop and you recommend or you ask for recommendations for good media. I like that, that's pretty neat. That's a pretty good addition. Basically, like you get it, right? You just click on the things and you either give or receive recommendations. I found the gift! A free lifetime train pass for all cool people. I am pretty cool, so I do deserve this. I deserve absolutely this pass. All right. Finally, we get our due. Let's see what people... Oh, you, people have, like, requests for recommendations. Book recommendation. Uh, I'm getting my Christmas list together for a local church. Uh, this is probably out of my wheelhouse. <laughs> not, not quite my area of ex expertise. Anyone got the Snow Manny in volume, volume 4? What? R plus 7 is my favorite on your... What? I want to read books like Cherub from Robert No Idea. Anyone try Kitty? And, nope, nope. Has anyone read Maya Henry's new book? Uh, no, I didn't. I've been kind of addicted listening to White Knight Honkai Star Rail. Oh, does anyone have a recommendation for me because I'm similar? Never heard of that. Recommendations for <laughs> poets. <laughs> Poetry. That's a that's a fun one. I'd like a nah, no, no, my, for me. Holy crap, is it? Hey! I really love the name of the wind and Wise Man's Fear by Patrick Rothfuss. Anyone with similar quality can recommend what while we wait for book three? Well, I may have uh, done an overly obsessive video about the entirety of Pat Rothfuss's waffling. So, my good friend, I feel your. I commiserate. No, this is not the way you spell this. Commiserate. There you go. Commiserate with your yearning that is a very fancy way to put it i am proud of it one day far in the future the rothfuss will grace us with with a conclusion uh, unless he dies first <laughs> anyway let me let me actually put an exclamation mark and some some laughter so it makes sure, make sure it's a joke anyway anyway you probably know the um, classics the 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 great classics mm, the great ones like like the wheel of time you gotta you like if you've read the name of the wind you probably know the wheel of time you probably know um, the Dresden Files. You probably know Mistborn. You know, all the Sanderson books. You can lump them all together. In fact, let me do that. Brandon Sanderson's 
um, giant pile of books. Yeah, there you go, etc. You know all those. Those are the classics. Here's some. So here's one you might not have heard about, heard of, and that is the Lies of Locke Lamora. I really love that book, and I don't see a lot of people talking about that. It's, it is super good. The Lies of Locke Lamora. In fantasy, and then there is, um, what was it called? Red Rising. Red Rising. In sci-fi. Which, you know, if you read fantasy, you're probably also a fan of sci-fi. They are almost interchangeable. Sci-fi is just fantasy in space. Super advanced science is just magic. <laughs> so, they are so interchangeable with another. If you like one, you're the you like the other. They're both real fun reads. That's about the good endorsement I can give. They're just really fun to read. They're really good stuff. That's good enough. Send it. Don't just love your suggestion. I know it. Let's see if there is anything else to be to recommend. I don't know if this is like I. I am not very knowledgeable about a lot of these things, but hey, what are some good strategy and management sims? Incremental games are good too. This is very pertinent to what I've been doing lately because I just now finished, I mean, just, not just now, but recently I finished uh, one of those incremental games. Let me tell you about it. My good friend, I just tried uh, a cool incremental game that kept me glued, glued to it for... What was it? I think it was like three hours. Let's just say hours. It for hours. It's called Node Buster, and it's really cheap. It was only three dollars, I think, three or four dollars on Steam. So I will definitely recommend that. But then, uh, how about management scenes for for manage? Uh, let's uh, let's talk about a different thing. If you like automation uh automation sims but factorio is too much <laughs> or you already tried it which is always the case like people you already played it people will play factorio first try infra space very good very good exclamation point uh i can't not recommend rimworld and of course, one, uh, and you can never go wrong with RimWorld. Even if you've already played it, just start again. Start, start, and you can always start, do a new colony. Yeah, with, eh, whatever. <laughs> you can always do a new colony. There you go. That's, that's decent recommendations. They're not very niche or, or obscure, but you don't need to be obscure every time. You can just give some good mainstream stuff. Yeah, I think I'm good checking out the media dialogues. Let's go see what there is in the rest of town. Before I go, let's speak to the speaker weirdo, Lawrence Lorenz here, doing Robot on the Street interviews. We really want to make Kind Wars 2 the best game possible. What's good? Anything confusing? Well, let me tell you right now, let me tell you the kind of piece of crap that you have de developed. Mmm, your game is beautiful and wholesome. <laughs> and I would appreciate um, a way to browse all the letters I've sent to others. Because I don't think there is such a thing. And it would be nice to have a history of that, how the way I express that in a couple sentences. Uh, it's nice to have a record of the things I wrote uh, and then see how they compare to what I feel currently like. And compare it, uh, and maybe compare it to what I... Oh, I run out of space. Maybe, maybe I won't do that sentence. It's too damn concise. Mm, let me rewrite this. And to others to have a record of what I've said and uh, compare it to advice I'd give today. There you go. That, that, it makes you keep track of what your own feelings 
uh, how your own feelings change over time. I really appreciate blah, blah, yeah, yeah. Take my damn message and take it to the developers so that they can obey me. All right, so we got a map. We have several locations. Uh, let's go to the plaza and see what there is to be done in the plaza. All right, a gathering of people. Probably more conversations can take place here. There is a billboard with cats. You can sit in the park and a pop-up shop. What is this? Welcome to the pop-up shop. Here we will find new topics popping up all the time. Please join the conversation. Today's topic is pumpkin spice. Pumpkin spice? What's the rightful place in the world? I'll tell you what is the rightful place in the world. World is into the garbage. What are people's opinions though? In my Starbucks cup, what? Is this, is pumpkin spice not universally despised? Am I completely out of touch with the youth? How can this be? I love pumpkin spice. Are you insane? Are you crazy people? In the hearts of people who look forward to autumn and all its wonders. What kind of nonsense is this? Listen, unpopular opinion. Apparently, <laughs> apparently, I have an unpopular opinion of pumpkin spice. Pumpkin spice is an abomination. And I absolutely loathe it. How come people don't hate pumpkin spice? I cannot stand it. It's just gross. I hate the taste of pumpkin spice. Everybody should listen to me. Tell me your opinion of pumpkin spice. If you have the wrong opinion, you're instantly banned. Ew, I say. Ew. Gross. All right. They got it. And now everybody will get in line with my opinion. Bunch of idiots. Let's see what there is to, what else there is to say. We, you can always click on just the random thoughts that people put into the ether. They just put like messages on the on the paper planes. This is a billboard about cats. People just describe them. There is no actual pictures of cats. Happy feet, crazy, and I mean crazy orange cat. Agatha, an old scruffy lady of a cat. That time my dad was a rain. What? This is not a cat. This is not a cat at all. This is not a cat at all. How dare you be? Be disrespectful to the cat meta. You can name a cat. Oh, it gives you prompts and then you name it. Kind of lame. Don't care about it. Describe a cat. Uh, well, how will you describe a cat with his name? Uh, blind and stupid. Luke is the blind and stupid cat. And then you can put something. Oh, th here's where you make the messages for airplanes. What can I possibly say in a message for everybody to read? Mm. Suffering is the default state of the human condition. Suffer well. Look, you may think that it's a neg negative thought, but it is not. It really is not. Only through suffering do we achieve innovation in the human race. If you are nothing, your life is nothing but, but bliss, you stagnate. There is no reason to ever do anything to ever improve when you are in the midst of bliss. Let's go over to the last stop, whatever this is, and find out whatever can be done in the last stop. We have another, another mailbox and then a little store what you got in here okay it's not a story it's uh, some kind of weirdo with a blue head <laughs> what is this about Rem you remember moments all right there's something i clicked on earlier that i decided not to even include into the video so probably I should go back and include it again but eh, it's nothing then a list of your favorites you can export Download all your messages and send them as a web. Uh, what does that mean, the messages I've sent? Because if that is the case, I sure gave really bad feedback. <laughs> Oops. I wonder if that's the case or is that a different thing. I really, I'll come back and try later on. And then there's the wiggling void. This will not be recorded or shared. Somewhere to drop all your negativity. It's like a piece of the void where you scream all your negative thoughts and that way you don't go back and tell them to some poor bastard asking for advice. My cousin and I touched wieners. Totally original thought, not a South Park reference at all. All right, well, that is the it for the last stop. Let us go move on to the next area, which will be the snow mountain. Yeah, let's go to the snow mountain. Let's see what there is to be seen in this place. Mm, looks like a sauna, a bit of a hot spring spa with life tips. 
and you can go to the magic, magic echo. This hole has a mysterious property. If you yell into it, you hear the, what the person behind you yelled. Every echo is only ever heard by one person. Uh, the next person shall hear this as follows. Check this out. My cousin and I touched wieners. Uh, wonderful sentence for someone else to hear. Somebody said, keep going forward, push forward. What a lame piece of advice. Let me go into the life tips. What's this? Give meditation a try. That is really, that's, that's what you got. Get an electric kettle to boil water instead of what? You steal bread to make French toast. So you want, if you want some stale French toast, that's what you should do. Don't eat spaghetti with a spoon. Actually, I bet you can do better than that. You bet that I can. I am a never ending font of good advice. Check this one out. Nobody gives a damn about that zit. Stop obsessing over it. Deeper truth was never spoken. Look, nobody's looking at you. Nobody cares about what you look like. Nobody will think twice about, oh, you had this hair out of place. It does, the only person that cares is you. Nobody gives a damn about that zit. Stop obsessing over it. Everybody has advice that is just platitudes. Like, you just gave you something real. Something that you can actually use in your life. Let's move on to the next stop, which is the outskirts. I think that is the last one that we there is in Kind Words 2. We arrive at a bit of a, a, bit of a park. There's a cafe and a chain forest where we chain up all the people that misbehave. The people with bad thoughts get uh, banned to the chain forest. These words are full of messages that people strung together. Somebody picked a topic and everybody else did a thing. All right, okay. Best compliment you ever received. Let's brainstorm some modern games. Your favorite dish. It's, uh, this is... I uh, don't know. I think the scope of this game got a little too broad. This little part of the game is kind of lame. People seem to be agreeing with me because there's only one person that has chained a compliment to this. Don't really care about this this uh, little thing. We can explore everything there is in the forest, though. You can go deeper, wander deeper in the forest. What is there? Just more stones with chains of thoughts. Motorcycle friends? Uh, what's the song that you think is underappreciated? What is the farthest place from your home that you visited? Well, I did go to Alaska from the Canary Islands. It's uh, quite the place, but I, this, I, it's just silly. That doesn't really help in any way. It, this feels really shallow compared to the actual life advice. The cafe has poetry. <laughs> I have a pretty low opinion of poetry in any capacity. Poetry was great when there were no video games. <laughs> Drop glass. I feel you hold me so gently underneath the light and your gaze. Feeling the care and love for your rough hands as I feel the calluses from your hard work and scars that run deeper than I can see. You told me you loved me. You said that I mattered, but I couldn't help but cut you as you held me with such tender care. I made you made me cry with joy and sorrow in the end, though. You had to let me go. I couldn't be angry at you. We were both hurting and couldn't help each other, but it softened the pain. I threw a shatter to my death. <laughs> that was terribly dramatic. I I have a personal vendetta, honestly, against this kind of thing. At the very like the very minimum is making the words fit into a rhyme. It doesn't have to be a strict rhyme. You don't need to have like a freaking iambic pentameter in there. Just make it so that the words sound good together. Don't just say random words. It pisses me off. Let me show you how it's done. There's actually <laughs> prompts for poetry. This is another thing. Eh, all right, if you want to be creative, this is not for me. I'm just going to say this is not for me. I am pretty biased against especially modern poetry. I think it's just all a giant circle jerk of people stroking themselves until they, they come all over their, their pages with absolutely terrible words strung together. Let me show you how it's done. <sighs> all right, this looks good. I'm ready to share my poetry. Oh, you know people will love it. Listen, 
blood gathering between his bare teeth, running down his face in streaks. I aim my stabs at his eyes and missed every time. His hands twist my wrist so hard, the bones crack. I scream my rage as the pen drops from my grip, so much rage filling my chest as the chance to win this fight is crushed beneath his weight. How's that? How's that for poetry? I hope that you're all traumatized. Let me run off the stage before the booths start. All right, let's get out of this dumbass place. Poets. Psh. Poetry is the consolation prize of failed musicians. To paraphrase the name of the wind. All right, let me just go back home. This place, the outside is just not for me. I am done with the outside. I'm going to go back home. Get back into my chair. And you know what we're going to do? We're going to ask for some advice. This is what's in my heart. This is why it weighs heavily on my conscience. I am full of creative ambitions, but I am terrible at putting my own, my work out there. I just post it into the ether, ether, and never promote it promote anything because I'm so self-conscious I wish I could get over it that's it that's that's the entire bit I know I'm not asking any questions but I am putting this out there for everybody to answer to me maybe somebody will have some way to get over it who knows you wrote a request I will run this right over to the post office to be copied and sent to all over the world all set may take a little time for people to reply they may even send you a sticker in the meantime maybe write some more awful slam poetry i'm going to pass on writing sl more slam poetry i am just going to keep browsing these notes maybe write some new advice send out some kind words for those that need it maybe you can say kind words too <laughs>